Okay, good morning. So, how many of you have been running late to class and you just wish that you could get there already without a lot of effort? Yeah. <laughs> so, it has happened to me many times where, um, actually this morning, I woke up like, like 9.15 and it's 9.30 class, so I had to like rush up and like, instead of running where I'm all sweaty and gross, it was just really simple, just use a long board and you can get there in half the time. And we all um, are students on campus and you know, it's a pretty like big campus, you have to get across, so you know, we all have to make the trek and you can do it in half the time with the board. Um, and I've been doing it so, if you're a beginner, I have, I started just the beginning of the year and I see how much progress I've had because at the beginning I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing and now like, I feel like good enough about it that I can like teach a presentation about it. So um, I just believe that you guys can do that too. If you're beginners, I believe most of you probably are. And so with that, um, the main points is like you have to figure out what kind of board like suits you the best, um, how to actually write it, and then the maintenance that you'll need. So for beginners, so according to howtobuyalongboard.com, they say that um, these are the best like three qualities you need for um, like beginners. So you're gonna need like soft wheels. It's gonna be durable and like really smooth bearings. So like these right here. Um, you gotta figure out like what you want to do. So you just wanna like cruise around campus. Do you wanna actually like go all fast? There's all different types of boards for that. And I suggest you know maybe going into an actual store and figuring out like how it feels for you because just buying it online, it might not work out. So they might be cheaper online, so what you could do is you go to a store, um, kind of like get a feel for it, maybe even get some like personal advice because the people who work there like know what they're talking about, and then go online and you can, you know, buy it for cheaper like on Amazon or something. So these are carving boards, this is a different type of board. They're more flexible. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't only have to be wood, and you know, it's gonna be people who are like, more comfortable with it and they want to have fun and like go kind of crazy. Um, then there's downhill boards and that's the board that I had. Unfortunately my board yesterday was hit by a car so you won't be <laughs> not see him today but um, what I like what I liked about my board is um, you know I felt like I can make it like my own personal thing. I had stickers on it and stuff and I even named it. His name was Lucius. So <laughs> Um, it was actually a drop through. So what a drop through is, it's like this one as well, it's this Ryan's board. So, is that it actually like, it's mounted through it, like these ones. And these ones are going to be more for like going down, um, like while going downhill. And they're a lot thicker and the wheels are going to have more grip. So you like need to know these things for like what you, what you want to do. And this is probably going to be the best for like all of us, just like the ones cruising around, just for like transportation, you know. And also it's like really fun if you have friends that have long boards because you can just ride around, you know, talk, whatever. And it's, it's just like a good time. And like walking's fun too, but you know, <laughs> that video goes fast. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are all different sizes. And yeah, it's a great way to get around. Also, a lot of people think that they're like super heavy and um, like inconvenient. But I believe it's way more convenient than a bike because your bike can get stolen. A lot of the times people like take the wheels off the bikes and you can just take it in here. It's always with you. It's like on your, you can just leave it there and like carry it around. And when you're not carrying around, you're riding it and it's, you're moving without actually moving. It's awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to show you like how to actually ride it. Um, first of all, you need the proper shoes. I was going to wear heels today, but I was like, you can't, you can't ride with heels. So. Um, so there's two different ways. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see me standing here right here? Okay. No. Okay. So either you're going to put your foot, uh, your right foot or your left foot as like the one like standing. Um, and then you're going to push with the other one. If you are standing on your right foot and you're pushing with your left, that's goofy. And the other way is like the normal way. So um, I don't know how I'm going to... See, I don't know if you can, like, can you see it better if I'm like standing over here. Um, so like you want your foot here if you're goofy and you're going to be pushing like that. 
So what I believe is either like just test it out because some people are more comfortable with their dominant foot as the balance or some people are more comfortable with their dominant foot as like the pushing. So that's like the, the difference. Um, with that, when you're actually on the board, you want to stand on it like, so if I have one foot like this and one foot like pushing, when you're actually standing on it, you want to put both like this. Because also like according to um, how to ride a ballboard.com, they um, suggest that it's easier to control the board, like the width rather than the length, and you'll have more control and you'll be able to turn. And um, also it's just a lot of practice and also not giving up, because I feel like a lot of people just get on and then they just like fall off and they don't, um, they don't get back up again. And another thing is that um, skateboards are a lot different than longboards. Longboards are a lot easier. They're easier to control. You won't fall off as much. You won't hit rocks as much because these are more durable and it's easier for you. So the last thing is maintenance. So this is what this is right here. And you just got to make sure it's not a lot of maintenance, but just make sure you don't go in water, like right in water, because it's going to mess up this right here. And it's going to mess up the trucks and it's going to like rust it. And you really don't want that. Um, also, um, like the base plate, you want to make sure that the screws that you like, that they're screwed in tight enough. Because sometimes they get loose over time. And then if you don't tighten them, it's going to fall off and you're just going to fall into a bush and not be happy. Um, so with that, you really, all, like I said, you just need to know what type suits you, how to ride it, and like the maintenance of your board. And see, yeah, so now you can just ride to class and never be late again. So thank you.